I gotta say, things are a bit odd when I'm about to speak about this topic with you that uh, has happened. We're, we're going to be talking about more of F2 than F1, and for a very good reason. Remember what I said, when there is smoke, there is fire somewhere a brewing, okay? Now, we know there's no indisputable proof, or at least there's no one directly saying what teams have been running illegal floors. Now, we did talk about in Finale Lap this past weekend about the fact that Red Bull is running two different variations of floors on Max's car and Perez's car, okay? Is this something that's uncommon to run different parts on different cars or different teammates? No, it's not uncommon. It's just a little bit more um, interesting to the point that we were suspecting that there are teams based off of reports that came out uh, some of us suspected that at least the two top running teams, which would have been Red Bull and Ferrari, were were in the mix of that, given their performance over time. And now finding out that Red Bull is running two different variations of floors, especially since the technical regulations kicked in uh, going into Belgium and so on. Perez's pace has been off and. Supposedly, Perez was supposed to get the new floor. Uh, for this last race, but it didn't happen because they said they didn't have any more floors. So I don't know if you just lose track of floors, inventory is low, whatever the case is. But then it was it was brought up that why don't you all just give him a floor previous, one of the older floors that was performing well towards the beginning of the season, and they cannot do that because those floors do not adhere to the technical directives. They don't adhere to the technical directive, so they don't fit within the confines of the rules that floors are supposed to be installed or made by. So, F2, let's take a look at this, all right? Let's take a look at this and just, uh, Iwasa, all right? And we're going to look at this report that came out on F2, and you can go there and check it out. It's on their, their latest news section. Just go right over there and take a look. But it says right here, Awasa has been disqualified from the Formula 2 feature race in Monza after it was found that the dam's car was not compliant with the technical regulations. Race scrutinizing the stewards ruled that the plank on the Japanese driver's car was below the maximum thickness required by Article 4.2 of the technical regulations. So you know how I like to do here, right? We got a technical regulations. We have an article. We got a designation. Let's look at that and see what that says, okay? And while we're at it, let's also take a look at the Formula One technical regulation, okay? So if we go to the Formula One technical regulation, we'll see that there's a, there's a difference in the amount of, of where you can have. So here's the Formula One, and I think this is 3.5.9 ECHO. And there says surface must be 10 millimeters plus or minus 0.2 and must be uniform when new. A minimum thickness of 9 millimeters will be accepted due to wear. Uh, even if you take away 0.2 from 10, uh, I guess new, you got 9.8. And they're going to give you another 0.8 if it wears, allowing you to go to 9 millimeters to be within conformity if it's a used plank. So if we go over to F2s, there's this different, okay? They're not getting as much as, as Formula One. Could be different things. Uh, the construction of the plank, the cars are different as well. So keep all that in mind. But it says right here, ground have to at all times a thickness of five millimeters plus or minus one. So it tells you that the, that the front and central parts of the plank fitted under the bodywork facing the ground must have at all times a thickness of five millimeters plus or minus one. Here you do not see if they give you another, another measurement for wear. Whereas we had 10 plus or minus 0.2 millimeters with the exception of wear all the way down to nine millimeters. Here they're saying at all times the thickness must be five millimeters plus or minus one. That gives you play to four to six, four to six millimeters. Well, in Formula One, we had teams that were suspected to have ran up to two more millimeters of measurements on that four mil. I think it was of, no, it was two millimeters of flexion. 
and they were running as high as six, giving you an additional more four. So I have to go back. My memory's foggy on that, but it was something around those lines. Well, here it is that we find ourselves with a Red Bull junior driver. He's, on, he's part of the Red Bull team. And we were already, some of us in this Formula One community and culture throughout the world were suspecting that Ferrari and Red Bull were running these faulty floors. And here we are in a situation in Formula Two, Iwasa, a Red Bull junior driver competing at Monza, disqualified for an illegal floor. Maybe you don't like the word illegal. Maybe you like out of compliance, not within regulations. Well, those all pretty much are in the genre of not allowed, illegal, okay? And that's what was happening. So does this mean indeed Red Bull is participating and Red Bull at the heart of their organization is sour and rotten and raw? Well, we've, we can say rotten and raw due to some of the other things we've seen outside of just building of cars or regulations of measurements. We're talking about racial situations and issues, diversity, all that. But I'm just being objective to say this may not be an indictment on Red Bull, but it damn sure doesn't look good. It doesn't look good. We were already expecting this, and here it is now. We're running into the fact, a fact, that a Red Bull junior driver in an actual GP race at Monza with the Red Bull logo on the damn's car has been disqualified for an illegal floor. How long has he been running that? Now, I would also like to say he did not win the Formula 2 championship. Drogovic did. Uh, I believe Awasa was around ninth. I want to say ninth. He still collected quite a bit of, with a, quite a bit of points for that season, around 100 and something points, I believe, uh, is what he might have had. But is this something else that doesn't just, is not localized in Formula 2? Possibly a practice that is up as high as Formula 1 in the Red Bull Formula 1 paddock garage? Is this something that might be? Maybe. Maybe. It might be. I, I tend to think that, like I said, where there's smoke, there's fire. And I definitely think that um, it's a possibility. It's not proven. Nothing's came out yet. But how long before maybe something does come out? And I would like to also say, because I know a lot of you Max fans don't listen to me. You don't. You just pick what you want, and then you go and try to make it like I hate Max, and I don't hate Max. I'm just speaking facts, all right, and sometimes a strong opinion. I would hate that if this comes out. I would hate it to a certain degree. I would hate if it comes out and Max didn't know anything about it, but I doubt that. So I would hate if it comes out. And here we go again. Max is going to have another faulty championship if this indeed resurfaces or surfaces in the Formula One garage. He's not going to be respected for this championship. He's already not respected for the previous championship. We already had another debacle in Formula One alone with the fact of the implementation of the safety car being correct, therefore proving what they did in Abu Dhabi was completely incorrect and robbed Lewis Hamilton of his eighth world championship. While Max complained about not finishing the race there, he was quite peachy keen on finishing the race behind a safety car. And I don't recall Karen Horner on the radio saying, just give us one more racing lap. Just give, I don't recall Jonathan Wheatley and them doing that this time around. Keep the same energy. But I, that would suck. That would suck because that, that, there you go again. You know, it's getting ruined, but it will also be great because if something like that is happening, it needs to come out just like, We'll talk about Alonzo another time. We'll talk about him probably later on this week. Maybe we'll talk about that. Uh, I will be working on, I got the piece. I got the piece, the tribute and salute piece. Got to work on getting it edited in. Also, I will be inputting names into the randomizer wheel. I think we're going to do it live on the regular YouTube channel set of Wolves Den. We do have a guest coming up for the Wolves Den. So you all, members of the channel, be ready for that. I also will place the new voting uh, bottles in there for the podium bottles. So we got a couple of weeks, so that's coming out. So we're going to be doing quite a few things in this next week to prepare us to go into the next race as it comes up, I believe, on the 30th and or 29th or 30th, something like that. I don't have my calendar in front of me. Matter of fact, let me get one right here on the computer. And, yeah, the 30th. As we start, practice on the 30th, qualifying on the 1st, and race on the 2nd, French toast time. I'm not going to have any French toast until race day again. So I'm going to take a break from French toast because it's nothing like having French toast on race day. But anyway, let me know what you think below in the comment sections. Uh, is this something that possibly is not only confined 
are just localized in the Formula 2 Red Bull Junior Drivers team at Dams? Is it something that creeps into Formula 1? Or maybe it came downstream. Maybe downstream of the bigger brother influenced the smaller brother, and they're doing some of the things they're doing, and maybe they just weren't as good at doing them. Uh, I, I doubt that nobody's checking these floors to make sure they're within tolerance, especially me not seeing a wear tolerance, not saying it's not there. Uh, just the regulations that I looked into, I believe at the 4.2, I didn't see it. It could be a little bit further down, but somebody regardless is responsible for checking these floors and making sure they're within standards or regulations. And they didn't. And why did they not do that? Who knows? Okay. So let me know what you think in the comment section. I'm just saying it is what it is. This is a fact. He got disqualified. It also is a fact. Red Bull with uh, Verstappen and Perez running two different floors. Performance is different. One car got away from somebody else because they're not, they're not building that car to facilitate Perez's driving style while building cars to facilitate Max's driving style. All this stuff is going on. So there is no fire without smoke and no smoke without fire brewing. So just saying, keep it real. See you later on. Peace. Be safe. Thanks for watching another episode of Wolfpack Performance. Don't forget to check out some of my other content on Formula One and motorsports topics. Like, share, subscribe, and we go live on the weekends. See you soon.